Hi everyone, this is Ade Damala. You are welcome to the Tailors of. All right, so a few months ago, I uploaded a video on how to make this one side lapel Ankara corporate dress, and quite a number of people reached out to me that they don't understand how the style was made, how the upper part was made, and maybe you know during editing i mistakenly scrapped out some important places and all so maybe that was what cost it so and i promise that i'm going to you know to do an update do a backup which you know i totally forgot about i was checking the feedback from some of my other contents that was when i remembered so if you are one of those that reach out to me that you don't understand this, how this, the upper part of this, especially the lapel side was made, please do well to watch this video. And for some that also did not reach out but they don't understand, please do well to watch it. And if you are a new person on this channel, you are welcome. Please watch the video, subscribe, like. Please do well to like the vid our videos. and turn on your notifications so you know when a new video is uploaded thank you all right guys you're welcome back so like i told you we're going to be using this material to make a, the style that i spoke about okay so we're making just the top part of that dress okay so if i didn't mention this in the video when I made it, I'm going to mention it now that I used 1.5 yards, that's one and a half yards of Ankara for that style, and roughly about one and a half yards of a uh, satin as well. So that makes it three yards. It was three yards of materials that I used to make that style. So this is a Dolphy satin because I just want to show you guys the upper parts of that style because of the feedback i got on that video and this is just a pieces material and we're using just the i can't even point out that this is the number of yards here so anyway these are the pieces of materials that we'll be using to make that just the top part the top the front part alone for clarity's sake all right so let's just get to business straight straight away so the first thing i did for that dress sorry it's a pieces so we're going to use it find a way to to use it okay so the first thing i did was that i and uh, i cut and i cut a basic bodice first a basic bodice i'm sure we're all familiar with what a basic bodice looks like all right so now the measurement we're going to be using for this basic bodice I'll use a little child's uh, measurement. So the half length is 12. So we'll add allowance, it will be 13. This is 13. Okay. It's a really 12. Okay. So this is the starting line where we're going to start, which is the shoulder. The shoulder is uh, 10. I, I'm trying to figure out the measurement to use for this style. You know, it's just a, a backup, a, a, like a, just to repeat the style for the sake of those that did not understand it. Okay, so shoulder to arm all length of this particular child is six. Okay, six. All right, six. So the measurement to you, if it was an adult, is that I use 3 by 3 if I don't want it to get close, too close to the neckline. Or I use 2.5 by 2.5. That's the neck width and the neck depth. Okay, but for this particular child, we'll be using 2. I don't want it to be too tight, but I've reduced it 2 inches for the neck width. Also 2 for the depth. Okay, this is the neck is a round neckline okay then we remove one inch here to slant the shoulder okay i assume we all can see it then it's a child if it was an adult the way i make 
the way the upper bodies of an adult is quite uh, different. And if it was an adult, we we'll measure the shoulder to the nipple point. That is on that point we are going to measure the bust, and then from the under bust is where we are going to measure the the waist and and the rest of it. But this is a child. Immediately after I measure the armpit right under, that's where I measure the bust. So the bust of this child is twenty six. Okay, 1.5 inches as the allowance. The waist is 24. 2.5 inches as the allowance. You can see it's a straight. It's straight because it's a child. Okay, so you can curve the armpits here. Extend the measurement of the shoulder down. And usually I reduce. This is a child. I don't need to do that. Usually I reduce here by one half an inch. Okay, I reduce here by half an inch. All right, but maybe we should also leave that. Let's leave it like that for this particular child. That is where I do it for adults. And um, if it is a sleeveless, I usually do it like this too for children. Okay, so that's that's that. Okay, for just the upper part. Okay, the sh starting line, which is the shoulder, the neck depth, and the neck width, slanting on the shoulder. The end of the shoulder connected to the neckline the armpit all right the bust because it's a child just the waist I, we don't need to measure the bust points the under bust and the rest of it so basically this is a body basic bodies for a child i want to use it to explain that you know one side lapel of that dress okay so we go ahead and cut it so here is it so now we are going to cut the lapel now. That's all for the bodies. So I'm going to be folding this material into two. Okay, this is it like this. So I'm going to fold it into, I'm going to cut two of what I want to cut now. Look at it. This is how I cut that lapel style. So what I did hmm, was to place the upper bodies that I cut that I had earlier cut, I placed it on, you know, on this one that I folded, all right? So, the only difference here is that I'm not going to cut the neckline. In fact, I'm going to add about 1.5 inches. You know why that is so, as we progress. I'm going to add about 1.5 inches, cut the armhole. All right, and connect it there. So when it is time, we'll shape out the necessary things that needs to be shaped out. Okay. So I cut the arm. My This is this is the first stage. Then we spread it out. The reason why I cut double of this, you know, it's a lapel. By the time it flips to the other side like this, the material needs to be showing. If you don't have so much material, you can cut one. Then by the time, by the time you you are you've have, we have cut out the necessary things so that you won't waste your material you can mark out only the place that will be folded and be shown outside Let, let's cut it out and i will explain better now make sure before you start shaping your lapel make sure that you have marked the points of the dart point of that the dart point for this child is let's let's make it four inches Let's make it four inches so that by the time I sew, it shouldn't be up to four inches, but because I want the lapel to be wide, I make it four inches because it affects the lapel too. All right. So this is four inches. By the time we hold half an inch on both sides, it comes down back to three and half. All right. So now that we have marked the point of the dart, okay, I'll do it one after the other. Place the whatever whatever you are going to use as a lapel whether it's ankara or another patterned material on a plain uh, material as shown in the style okay so no now from this that point of one side you can see the lapel is on i think it's on the, the right side you can you can yours can be on any side it can be on the left side can be on the right side but i want the lapel to be on this side so the other side that doesn't have the lapel, all right, you are going to cut off. You are going to cut off this point. You are going to cut it off. Let me bring it closer so that we can see it well. From 
look at the dart point from this dart point all right fold it on it like this and cut it out chop it off like this that is stage one that is step one for the lapel then the step two is that bring it on the other side this way okay chalk this side of the shoulder okay put draw a line a mark to align the shoulder to this uh, upper to these bodies that you have cut and continue the line to this point look at it a slant line from the shoulder a slant line from the shoulder till it gets to the end of the material okay so this is it so now after you have done that make sure to notch this place notching is when you do a little cut and you cut it out a little so that you mark the spots where maybe you want to sew something out or you want to make a curved place to relax for many purposes so we notch this place where it's sitting on the shoulder okay so now do the same for the other side please if you want to do to ensure you could connect front the right side of the fabric to the right side or the wrong side to the wrong side so that you know have uh, you know how to deal with that you have cut one both sides to be on one point like this it's possible you cut both sides to be on one point like this see this is the right side this is the left side this is the right side it's facing up like the two up uh, right side they are facing up no make sure you let the wrong side to connect to the wrong side or you let the right side to connect to the it works both ways okay so this is it right side on top of the right side okay and you shape out all the places that you have shaped while you placed it on the plain material okay all right i want you to see it this is it So from this place that we have notched, this is our lapel. And if you, this is how the lapel looks like. However, you can see that this place eh, is coming out too much on inside into the ammo. You can reduce this place. I like to first cut it, eh? cut it first. Then if it's too much, we reduce it. We reduce this place, please. Can you see it? Then I reduced this place. I would have said, let me stop here. Hmm? I would have said, let me stop here. But I want, I want to show you how. Let me sew it. Hmm? When I sew it, I will, I will place the band on it so that you get a, a good picture of how it is. This is it. You must ensure to notch this way because that's where you are going. You are going to sew. So now let's go ahead and sew it. From this point that I notched. On the shoulder that I was showing you earlier, that's where we are going to begin the sewing. From. Then you sew. When you get to the angle, you cross it and sew it down as well. Okay. Sorry, the reason I used it to shape that place that is not the way i like it to be okay so your allowance doesn't have to be as wide as this okay so we'll go ahead and trim off the excess allowances this is the point that we notch i want to notch it properly well okay so we bring it out you see what we have so after we have ironed it we'll go ahead and hold the dart for the upper bodies that i talked about so we're going to hold the dart. Please take note. The dart that you are going to hold is for this side that the uh, le lapel is not going to be on it. When I hold the dart of this side, I will iron it and place it on. We're going to hold the second dart with the material. Okay, so let's take this first dart. Then I iron it. Then we come back and hold the dart, the second dart with it. All right, guys. So I have ironed. Look at it. Ironed already. This is the way it's going to sit. I've ironed it. So before I go ahead and hold it that I'm going to sew it down on it to the shoulder. Okay, let's let's do that. Okay. The next thing to do now 
look at it i'm going to hold the second that the second that with the material itself okay this is it so the next thing we're going to do now is to you know place it this way okay sorry i forgot to also mention that we i'm supposed to shift this place a little to the back so that by the time we want to sew the belt it can sit properly in it so i can lose this place back a little and shift the lapel and make sure it comes down very well like i was explaining to you i'm supposed to shift this place a little to the back i have loosened it as you can see and giving a little space here about almost half inch so that by the time we want to put the belt on the neck it can sit well without any issue now this is the lapel okay i'm going to iron it down now and put the uh, the band in the, i think these are the places that you know the people that reached out to me mentioned that they don't understand let's iron it here is it now make sure to iron it very well you can see by the time i put it down it comes down by itself so let's go ahead and cut the band the band on it all right so this is the band it's just as easy look at it and this is the band i'm just going to sew it down on it then if the back was available because i didn't cut the back this is all i cut just to explain this lapel side to the people that reached out to me and for those that did, that may not even also understand but they didn't say anything so this is we just place the band on it if the back this i'm going to be using for a child so i'm not going to put band any band like this on the back i'm going to put a belt here so that's that's for that then the neck you notice there's a belt on the neck it's easy it's just like something like this like a belt that i used as the as let me cut the belt and you know sew it and use it to explain that neck line all right so before i turn this belt and i go ahead to iron it i like to for you to see this so what i did for the belt on the neckline is to sew it you notice i curved use my sewing machine to curve you can as well curve this angle here before you go and sew it and trace it okay then also for i just use my sewing machine to make a curve curving okay so that's for that also i did not finish joining the belt look at it the reason why this is this is the place after i turn it that is going to come i'm going to join to the neck i'm going to notch the center give a space of about one inch here join this place i'll join the other end and use cutting buyers to tape the neck down okay so let let me let me experiment it so that you see it so now i'm going to notch this end of sewing here okay as i have notched it i want you to see it since this is a backup uh, tutorial on a style that we have already made before i don't want to leave any stone unturned so we we'll go ahead and turn it excuse me go ahead and turn it this is what we have i turn the second one so i'm going to iron it now i like to also show you how it will be joined on the neckline even though the back is not here now i didn't cut the back of this of this particular body okay but i'll show you how it will be joined to the neck all right thank you all right guys so now we are almost at the end of this so this is what i'm talking about <coughs> this place mm -hmm. so what i did was to notch i'm not going to sew it all right i'll use uh, office pins to you know to hold it down because i don't want to sew it so the first thing to do let's assume that we have already joined this to the back so i notch the center of this front i have notched it like this so the the belt goes this way look at it this place that i have notched you give a space of about one inch you know in between half an inch on this side of the notching you can zoom it in so that you see half an inch on this side half an inch let me let me i've zoomed it so that you can see it so half an inch from this point this place that i notched half an inch towards this side you place your uh, belt let me use office pins to hold it down and sew it across the joining even over to the back over to the back it goes into 
the zip allowance. It goes into the zip allowance, all right? It goes into the zip allowance. It comes down to the zip. You do the same for the other side. All right. Half an inch also on the other side. Why, why is it so? So that when you want to tie it, it will have enough space to sit inside the neck. Okay, so you press it. This is disturbing. You raise it up a little and you join. This is it. If you want to tie it, this, this is how it's going to be tied. So that the tying can sit inside the space that I have created. Okay, that's about that. You join it. When I join it, how is this place going to be neat? You use a cotton bias. I assume that we all know what a cotton bias is. We use a cotton bias to tape it. Or you cut your material in a cotton bias form. Use the cotton bias to tape to tape it. Use the cotton bias to tape it. After you have joined the back, join the back. This and when it goes into the back and you have used the cotton bias to tape it, you fold it into the zip allowance like this. Look at it. It's folded this way. It's folded this way into the zip allowance. When you have joined this place and you're about to put the zip, you fold it down into the zip allowance. So I Pray that you understand this now. This is the way the belt is going to sit. Okay, this is the way it's going to sit. It's going to be, when you have folded it into the zip like this, let's assume this is the zip allowance. Okay, it's going to be folded into the zip allowance like this. So we have a neckline. So that's about that. I, I hope you understand now. Thank you for watching.